Greetings, Galactic Earth Angelics of the 144. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. Today we have a very special transmission for you from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, and Galactic Destiny readings. As we commence the Yellow Human Wave Spell, it is August 18th, 2022 through the 30th of August 2022, Keens 92 through 104. We are rising to become human, God, man, divine humans. Power of influence and free will, the getting of wisdom. Can wisdom be got? Is it innate or something that can be acquired? Sages insist that knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. The venerable sage Lao Tzu Writings 2,500 years ago counsels his readers to consider that while knowledge involves acquiring things every day, the attainment of wisdom is more about discarding things every day. So many of us become smart too soon and wise too late, because we can't countenance that the soul may be the part of us that sees the dream and what we laughingly refer to as a reality. By Doug Anderson, Sydney, Morning Herald is the eighth wave spell in our journey through the Zolkin calendar. The number eight denotes infinity and the endless flow of energy, light, wisdom from source. The eight is the pathway tracing the in-breath and out-breath from source. Everything comes from source and ultimately returns to source. The eight is a divine number that triggers our remembrance of our universal journey as sparks of the divine. Eight is also the frequency of abundance, reminding us that there is no lack or scarcity in the Creator's world. Everything we need or desire can be created through divine alchemy, especially when our vibration is in full alignment with Spirit, Source, Consciousness. The yellow human wave spell occupies the fifth and sixth vertical columns in the Zolkin calendar. The number five denotes freedom, liberation, transformation, and movement, which gives us the impetus to break free from all small human existence and move towards the divine plan for our lives. The sixth column represents heaven, Christ consciousness, harmony, and fertility. So this progression from the fifth to the sixth column and frequency is divinely perfecto. The yellow human wave spell relates to our journey and the attainment of wisdom. It also highlights what it is to have free will choice in our lives. As we examine those choices, we question what it is to make better choices that benefit our lives and those of others around us and our world. The traits of the yellow human are free will, influence, making choices, wisdom, abundance, harvest responsibility and being a receptive chalice. The main goal is to transcend the ego or lower mind and align to the higher divine mind in order to become the wisdom keepers of our time. The ancient wise ones, our ancestors and indigenous wisdom keepers, inherited their wisdom through listening to the earth, their elders, the stories, and most importantly, listening to spirit. When we are still and become the observer rather than the participant, we can detach from our lower mind and begin to train and craft a more advanced form of intelligence. The more adept we become at observing and listening, the more wisdom we attain. With the ability to see and comprehend what was previously incomprehensible to our smaller minds. As we free our minds from overthinking and the constant busyness, we can then create more space for greater expansion and elasticity of our brain. This fires new neural pathways and opens the door for new ideas, creativity, and talents to be birthed within our being, training our minds to prepare for the wondrous new information to flow in. The yellow human represents the golden chalice, holy grail. Before we can fill up our cup with wisdom, love, source energy, 
we must first seek to be purified and emptied of the dross, otherwise the whole contents will be polluted. What contents do you need to release in order to empty your chalice in preparation for source to fill it up? Do you make conscious choices for your own good and the highest good of all? Do your choices harm yourself or others in any way? As you attain more wisdom, do you apply it to create a better world for others? Everything is a choice and is optional. It is your free will to make your own choices. Being busy is a choice. Exercising is a choice. Traveling is a choice. Feeding an addiction is a choice. Meditating is a choice. How we spend our time each day is a choice. The next 13-day cycle asks us to reflect on the daily choices we make particularly what you do in your free time. To create a better world for all, we must start making wiser and better conscious choices in our own lives. This cycle affords humanity the opportunity to think before we act in order to make better choices. To follow the crowd or to make your own path, that is the question. To derive the answer, it is best to go within and seek guidance from your higher self, I am presence, and feel with your intuition what is best for you in each and every situation that you are faced with throughout your day. Bullying, peer, media, and social pressure is not what is best for each individual. Each of us needs to make our own choices using our free will. The more aligned we are with Divine Spirit, the wiser our choices will be. As we become wiser, we soon realize that Spirit holds the keys to creating a better life that magically flows through synchronicity, leading to greater soul satisfaction as we step into our mastery as divine humans. We choose to align our will with that of divine will, a higher power than ourselves, in order to have a greater influence in this world. Seeking to leave a legacy or simply to make the world better for ourselves, our children and others around us, is the stimulus that keeps us growing, fueling our creation. Thank God for all those beautiful, wise souls in the past whose actions have left a legacy for us in this lifetime. As we transcend our material desires, distractions, and addictive behaviors, a greater force enters us and becomes the steering wheel determining our life's direction. Partnering with Spirit then liberates greater resources and potential within us to make a greater impact. Ultimately, it is our choice whether we wish to play small or step up on the global stage through our soul's contributions. During this next stage of our planetary evolution, the star bliss suns, light holders, and rainbow warriors will be urged by spirit to truly listen and answer the call to step up and use the wisdom they have attained through their arduous and courageous journeys, applying their experience to influence others who are awakening to more wisdom and divine truths. These souls will be needing guidance, healing, and answers to their questions. Whatever phase of the journey souls are on, this yellow human wave spell will catapult them to their next level of learning and divine remembrance. Aho, dear wise ones! Yellow human themes are wisdom, influence, intelligence, free will, and abundance. The goal of this wave spell is to transcend the lower human, egoic mind and elevate to that of the higher divine mind, viewing our lives through the lens of the divine. Thy will be done is a powerful mantra for this cycle, where the will of God will be pressing through every human conduit seeking to be heard and enacted. Other questions which we may contemplate through the yellow human cycle are how can we positively influence our environment and its people? What of the ancient and indigenous prophecies and wisdom, how does this teach or guide us? What of our elders and ancestors and the choices they made, was that good for our planet? Is this life guided completely by spirit or are we co-creators in this dance? It is a great idea to do some journaling and reflecting during this wave spell, particularly on how you can improve your life through making better choices, thus becoming a wiser human. So precious hearts, we join together on this next 13-day cycle 
to embark on our next evolutionary stage. May wisdom dawn in us, may wisdom ripen in us, may wisdom be transformed into right action, may right action reap the harvest, may everything be known as the light of mutual love. Ayum Hunabku Evam Maya E Maho All hail the harmony of mind and nature. Excerpts from the Mayan Prayer of the Seven Galactic Directions. 18th of August 2022, Day 1 commences with Yellow Magnetic Human. Key 92, 1 Keeb. We commence on our journey on Day 1, attracting all we need to attain wisdom in order to broaden our influence through alignment with Divine Will. 30th of August 2022, Day 13 concludes with Yellow Cosmic Seed, Keen 104, 13 Khan. By Day 13 we have accumulated all the divine wisdom and light codes needed to seed our highest potential, all perfectly encapsulated within our expanded God Seed Pod. We now have all that we need to make the best choices, leading to our cosmic service to humanity as a branch of the divine human family tree. Enjoy your attainment of divine wisdom and cosmic potential. The mantra, the code for this wave spell is, I unify in order to influence, attracting wisdom. I seal the process of free will with a magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. Divine blessings for the attainment of divine wisdom, elevating humanity to divine consciousness. In la ketch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Thank you for joining us today on this very special transmission, beloved beings of light, and have a most beautiful and blessed yellow human wave spell. As we continue further along our journey, along the dream spell path and the ascension spiral into the new heaven upon the new earth. If you'd like to help support our work and mission, you can do so with a pledge or donation at the links at egolovecondor.com. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.